Assalamualaikum everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Update today and it's time we decode what's going to happen next and I probably have some few things to say. So first of all, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back uh, and try to clear off the charts. So what we're going to do here is go to that, remove, remove the drawings and now we have a clean chart. Now, of course, uh, having a refresher, this is what's currently happening, okay? You do have $29,000 as your very big resistance, and that comes in from this area right there, okay? So this is a resistance that uh, Bitcoin is trying to break above to continue up here. And I think it should break, but it's a little bit early to break right now. I think, uh, you know potentially we might just you know fake a little bit and act you know do some overacting like as if oh no i'm about to die i'm I'm about to bring the bears back and you know after that boom right skyrocket to sixty nine thousand dollars which is my price target maybe if not this year but hopefully next year we're gonna see a sixty nine thousand dollars but i do expect a thirty thousand dollars plus uh bitcoin for 2023 I don't know if 69,000 is going to happen this time because I think 2023 is going to be maybe more of a sideways year and accumulation year where people are going to step in and try to buy Bitcoin. Weekends are going to be shaken out. Smart money is going to buy, right? And dumb money is going to be selling. That's just how it is, right? Uh, down here. So um, at the moment, that's the first thing. The second thing is if I zoom in now to the main common denominator here is the Bollinger Bands because I know we have talked about this being as mosquitoes and uh, you know there, there, there's a sideways market we do have 24 minutes by the way to close the candle and my take about it is that you can see that the middle band of the Bollinger and the highest band of the Bollinger are about to make a collision okay the squeeze happening it is happening and when this squeeze happens like this you're going to find the answer because when Bitcoin was moving up, the Bollinger Band had enough room already for Bitcoin to consolidate for a long time. But now that room is getting narrow. It was wide over here at this part right there. It's getting narrow and narrow and you're going to find a squeeze. And I've been saying this even before that, you know, maybe 13 April, 14, 15 of April, we must get an answer. So that's um, one take about it the only positive thing you can say about this coin is that on the emas we're still above like you still have a bull cross and you're above everything here but i'm still looking at a visit down to 55 so the next thing is that on the four hour time frame i noticed one little bit of thing with the emas and that is even the emas is pretty much straight right now okay you can see the emas are like you know you're getting above the emas coming down getting above them, coming below them, getting above them, coming below them. So it's really, really wrong to even trade using the EMAs at the moment. And by the way, I've, I've told you for the past few days, trading a consolidation consolidation market is not even recommended in the first place, okay? So right now, if you look at the EMAs, you are getting below, you know, it's like you're trying to get below, but I won't be surprised if you still get to pop to the upside. The only thing that's still there that I want to see is this consolidation box getting broken that's what i'm expecting to see in the next coming time i just want to see where i can get the consolidation box here where is it where is it where is it where is it okay i'm just gonna have to try to find it all right so there we go i just found a parallel channel and i think this is even better and at the moment if you look at the parallel channel this is what we have right now this is your very big um, you know channel right now and why do we even have a parallel channel okay it's because it's um, you know it's it's way obvious that you know the people who made trading view they know that a sideways market exists and that's why they gave you a parallel channel sometimes you just have to ask yourself why do even parallel channel like this exist because a sideways market exists as a matter of fact all right, I say this on my trading course. If you want to get it, message me on Twitter. 80% of the time, the market is just boring and sideways. And welcome to that part of the sideways market once again. So this for me, all in all, I still need to see if I can actually minimize all the confusion. This is the best thing I think I can do for you. Because the parallel channel 
has something that is quite interesting other than the Bollingers and this and that and everything that I talk about. The reason why I like the parallel channel at this point of time and the only thing that makes sense to me is that you can see there's upper line like this. I'm just going to put this on the side. The parallel channel has a line like this, okay? And then you have the dashed middle line like that, okay? And then you have something like this. It's almost like a road, okay? And during this time, you have this as your resistance and that is your support. Even this dashed lines in the middle that you see, they also act as some sort of a resistance. Now the prices can go like this, come up, go down, go up, make a fake out, come down again, go up, come here, hold the support at the dashed uh, lines there, go up to the resistance, come to the dashed line again and support, go up, come down again and even do something like this, go up and go, re be rejected at the dashed line. So if you notice that the dash, dashed lines in the middle, they also act as some small support and resistance. The price can even do something like this and then go up and then come down and something like that. So all these three th different things they matter a lot. And can't you notice that trading always has something and always has an answer. All you have to do is to be knowledgeable enough for you to understand what's going on in the market. Now, if I zoom in, notice how you went up to that upper line of the parallel channel, got rejected, came down for the retest and made a support down at the lowest band or the lowest line, sorry, went up, got rejected, came down, bounced off, went up, got rejected, came down to the dashed lines and bounced off, got rejected, came down again to the dashed line and then got rejected, uh, sorry, got supported here, went up, you're coming down, you're getting support again. You, you could even today see Bitcoin trying to move here or even worse, we can actually go to the lowest band again, okay? And that will still be nothing more than just an extended continuation of a sideways. I just want to see who wins here. It's a tug of war right now, okay? TOG, tug of, oh, not TOG, it's TOW, whatever. In this tug of war right now, either the sellers win and they push it down, or the buyers win and they push it up and we go up. Simple as that. Wherever the direction is, that's where you take the trade. And is there anything else that can be more simple than this? I don't know. I don't even think I've seen anyone talking about a parallel channel for Bitcoin that is having right now on YouTube because this is the closest thing I think I can come up with. Everyone has their own opinion, of course. But um, I prefer, because this is the, the format of the channel, because I prefer to keep things simple so that even a beginner can understand what's going on uh, you know even if you have like a 15 years old kid they can understand what's going on and even better is that i'm always recommending you take my course it's made for you message me on twitter and get a discount as well and that's pretty much it for this update i'm going to see you the next one i love this